Hello and welcome to Jason's Acoustic Workshop. Today we're doing part nine in the series where I show you the gear that I use when I do live shows or go out and street play. Now in part eight, I showed you one of two programs that I use whenever I type out my lyrics and chords, put them on my tablet, and then use them on stage. Okay, before I do, I want to make sure if, uh, I want to thank all the people who have subscribed so far. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Um, if you have any questions, you can send me a message, and all you have to do, let me bring my picture down here. As you can see right there, the James Unplugged. Now, all you have to do is when you see that, go to right here where it says send James a message on the right-hand side there, and uh, just, just put your name, email, and send me the message and hit send. I'll get it immediately. And as you can see here, I was the best of 2019 in Green Bay for acoustic musician. That's an awesome, awesome thing. It's well deserved, I believe. Now, come over here to song list. You click on the song list, and it'll show you all the songs that I play. I put a list of songs out, and you, the audience, pick the song you want to hear. Okay, if you want to see where I'm at, hit the show dates. You can see the reviews and of course uh, my fans, their pictures, and of course videos and pictures of my of my shows. Okay. Now shut that off here. I'm gonna bring myself back up. Alright. Now, ladies and gentlemen, part nine. Here we go, the second program that I use. And like I said, this this is for um, Android and Apple. I don't use Apple products, so it might be the same as the Android, but I'm not sure. Um, I use Android. I use a Trio tablet, 10-inch tablet. So, but today I'm going to show you uh, this program is called Gaio PDF Viewer. It is one of the best programs I have seen. I've tried the Adobe. I've tried some other ones. They're not as quick as this one, okay? And I'm going to show you on my phone. Now, some people use this reader on their phone. They have that up on stage if they have really good eyesight, which I don't. Or they want uh, they use what I like is uh, like a 10-inch tablet that's got bigger letters, okay? So, but today I'm going to show you on my phone how it's done, okay? It's very very simple. And of course, if you, uh, I'm going to be starting up another series where I'm going to be doing some playing, where I'm going to be playing songs. And I also am going to keep going with the lessons. If people are still, uh, if people are asking about, people are asking about lessons. I'm on lesson 20. I'll be doing some more pretty soon. Now we're going to get to Gaio PDF Reader, and uh, you just uh, you tell me in the comment section if it worked for you or if it didn't. Like I said, this is a very powerful program. It's very small, but it's very, very quick. And if you're, if you're up on stage and you need to get to something really quick, this is the reader. All right, so let's get to it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. My LG 20 phone, Android. There's the uh, Gaio PDF icon. Just go to the Google Play Store, type in Gaio, G-A-A-I-H-O, it'll come right up. Now let's click on the icon, and there you go. It's going to take you to the documents. If you ha don't have anything recent, then it's going to take you straight to documents. And as you can see, here are my documents that I have in PDF form. It can't be in Word or ODT, like Open Office. It has to be in PDF. All right, and as you can see how fast it is, it's very fast. Now let's say uh, let's well let's show the other parts first before we go to how it's used. Uh, you want to you can either hit the recent button up here like that, or you can slide slide to the left. Boom! It takes you to recent. Now as you can see, there's no PDF files available, but we're gonna we're gonna get that shortly. Now the network is gonna show you your phone address and your servers. Okay, just to let you know. Now you're going to go to settings. Uh, you've got your disp where your display is, show notification bar, show toolbar, and of course your screen brightness lock, your Wi-Fi settings, your links, and of course it talks about the reader itself. 
if you have any questions. And that's it. Documents, settings, network, and recent. That's it. Very, very simple. And that's all you need when you're up on stage. Just something simple to get to those songs as quick as you can. Now, let's say somebody wants to hear Dio, okay? They don't know the name, and they don't know the, the number of the song. So they just, they just said, play some Dio. Okay, fine. We'll go on uh, the search on the bottom middle, as you can see. Let me show you real quick. See where it's right there? Bottom middle. Hit the search and put in Dio. Look at that. Holy Diver and Rainbow in the Dark. Now, of course, it also shows these songs that have Dio in it, like Radioactive has a DIO. And, of course, Runaround Sue, Dion and the Belmonts has Dio. All right. So click on Holy Diver. There you go. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the one slash one on the top means it's only on one page. If it said one slash three, it'd be three pages. All right. Now, this is what's called your day mode. If you're uh, doing a gig outside or even inside and it's daylight, you want to be able to have that white screen so you can see the lyrics and the chords. Now, if you're, at, uh, you're playing at night, either outside or inside, and you want the stage lights to be hitting you, and you don't want this bright white light shining you in the face, go to the four squares on the bottom right, and it's going to show you on the top there, night mode. So you click on night mode, and what it does is it makes the, the screen black, and it makes the lyrics and chords white. Now, as you saw in the day mode, go back to day mode, the chords are red. And that's how I usually do it, to separate from the black. But in the night mode, unfortunately, they're all white. But that's okay. If you know the song, you can do it. All right, so let's go back to day mode here. Now, of course, you have brightness. You click on that, you get your system brightness. Uh, you can go to a page. There's your properties. It shows you the file name, the location, when it was modified, and your size. Of course, the title, author, and the number of pages. So, and of course, you have the settings, which will take you to the settings that I already showed you. Okay, so let's go back. You want to go back, you want to click the arrow on the left. Okay, you want to clear this out. You can either click on this on the, on the search bar there and hit the X to do that, or if you want to make it fast. You can click on that green circle with the X in it right on top there in the address bar. Click on that or search bar, I'm sorry. And just click on that and boom. Now touch the search search bar again. Now let's say somebody wants to, uh, they know the name of the song, but they don't know who sings it. So let's say uh, somebody says, hey man, uh, uh, what's that song, uh, Symphony of Destruction? I, I, I don't know who plays it. Okay. Simple. You're going to go to your search bar, touch it, and here you go. You just put in, all you got to do is just put in some of the words. Sim there it is. You have Sympathy for the Devil or you have Symphony of Destruction. Number four. Now, if you want to get rid of the uh, Sympathy, just put that, boom, Symphony of Destruction. Click on that. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Megadeth, Symphony of Destruction. Very, very simple, and like I said, very, very fast. It's one of the best out there. Okay? Now, there's one where I have um, a, uh, two pages, but they're two different songs, and I'll show you what I mean. It's uh, Hallelujah by Rufus Wainwright. Okay? Now, when I play this song, as you can see on the top, it says one slash two. There's two, there's two pages. Now, when I play Hallelujah, I use this one. And then when I get to the very end of Hallelujah, I just do a really quick strum. And then I swipe to the left. And it goes right into Hold Me, Thrill Me, Kiss Me. Okay, that, that's... <laughs> it, it's, it's a, it, it takes work, it takes practice to do that, but you can do it. So you slide back to the right. And there you go back to Hallelujah. Like I said, you just hit that one strum really fast and just swipe with your finger, and you got it. You're on, you're on two. And as you can see up there, it says two of two. 
Now, if you want to bookmark it, you can. Right here, bookmarking is right there. Okay. Uh, you can edit it. You can either put in a text. You can slash out some words. You can underline. Or you can draw on it. Okay. It's up to you. And, of course, if you want to lock the screen, you can lock it. Okay. You can unlock it there on the top, close to the right there, next to the search. Now, on the bottom here, it will show you your bookmarks. That's where your book is in the middle, bottom. And, of course, next to the arrow on the bottom left, you click on that, and you got your page layout. Continuous scroll or text reflow or fit to screen, that's what I use. And like I said, I use this only when I'm playing. I don't use this any other time. And like I said, it's very quick. I've had uh, some where I'm just scrolling down and I see something I want to play before anybody says anything and I click on it and I start playing it. Okay. Now I do have some like uh, from Ricky Nelson called Hello Mary Lou. So I just put in Mary. Mary Lou. Oh, it's not on there. It's not on my phone. It's on my tablet. I'm sorry. Um, let's try something else here. Let's say somebody wants to hear 38 Special. Well, there's 38 Special right there, a second chance. But search it, 38. There it is, a second chance and caught up in you. Very simple. All right. So that is the PDF Reader Gaio. All right. If you want to, and oh, before I go any further, while we're on this here documents screen, you go down to the four squares. And you can either, uh, it's all alphabetically or numerically, as you can see here, 1 through 500. But that's the name of scent, which goes 1 one's on the top and 500, on, 500 is on the bottom. If you go to the name Descent, now 500's on the top and 1's on the bottom. Okay? But I like to do it the other way. But sometimes it doesn't matter because you're going to be typing out certain words anyway, keywords to get where you need to go. But then sometimes you just scroll down and you see, well, let me do that one there. So you click on that, you finish it, hit the arrow. Oh, I want to do that one. You click on 27. There you go. There it is. Astounded. And you keep going. And like I said, it's very, very fast. Now, we're going to, uh, one more thing. Oh, let me go here. If you have... Before I go to the second part, if you go, if you uh, just put in some more PDF files recently and you haven't uh, viewed them on this app, what you have to do is you have to refresh the app. That way it finds more PDFs and puts it on there. So what you go to the four squares down in the bottom, right? You hit refresh and it will search for more PDF files that are not on there. And of course, it will put them on your documents. Okay. Now, one more thing. You slide over to the left, or you could just tap on recent. As you can see, it shows you all the files that I have viewed. Okay. Now, if you want to leave them there, that's fine. Um, sometimes I'll, if I'll do a, if I do a three or four hour show, I'll, I'll clear it first before I start, and then when, I, when I'm done, I will look at all the songs and I can make a playlist out of it. Because sometimes I don't use the book. If I'm outside and there's like 500 people there, I'm not going to pass out 500 books. It would be a waste of time, and there's no way I would be able to play 500 songs in four hours. So I will composite a list, which I'll have to show you on the computer later on. Now... If you want to clear this out, if you want to leave it there, you can leave it there. That's no problem. But if you want to clear it, you go to the bottom right, you click on that little eraser, and it says, are you sure to clear the recent list? Hit OK, and it clears it for you. And like I said, this is it. You have documents, recent, network, and settings. That's all. A very simple app, very, very fast. And like I said, it's one of the best ones I have used so far. And I've been using it for years. And I've had no problems with it. Now, if you want to fool around with all the other little gadgets on there, um, as far as editing, like 
slashing out words and what I don't do any of that. If you do, you have a blast. Okay, so that is the Gaio PDF reader. All right, that was the Gaio PDF reader. Very, very simple to use, very quick. And like I said, one of the best I've seen. So if you have any questions, if you have any comments, send them to me or just put it in the comment section if you have uh, and I'll, I'll answer them as best I can. Or if you have just a simple comment, hey, you're doing a great job. Great. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And we will see you in part 10.